what's your realistic dream car then that you hope to own one day? I am. Um, there is one car that really stands out for me. Um, I do like a GTR. Oh yeah, newer one. Like, yeah, newer one, yeah. Um, but realistically, you're talking big money. Uh, so, 35? No, to get, well, you can probably get one for about 35, but condition wise, to get a good one, you're looking about 50 to 60. Yeah. Um, which, yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, geez. it's a lot of money. I've got a um, customer, he's only 30 years old, got his own business, Strassen okay. Interiors. Yeah. He wants a GTR. I think he said he was looking around 60k. Yeah. He says, uh, hopefully he's going to be getting one. He'll get me to detail it for a while. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, never done a GTR. I saw a bike one this morning. Pretty sure I'm going to see it most mornings. I think he's the owner of the local um, Starbucks or a franchise owner. Okay. He's always there. And Lynchfield, I think it's Lynchfield that does some really good performance mods on them. Yeah, you can get some big power out of them as well. Oh, 1200 easy, easy enough. 1200. Even more. But yeah, I think I think a GTR would be nice. Um, I do really like the RS3s as well. The early RS3s. RS3, yeah. With a map, you're talking 400 plus. Okay, good, yeah. I saw on your Instagram that your dream car's probably an Audi, right? Uh, it always has been, but yeah. I think if it came round, so, I mean, you can get an R8 for 32. Oh, that, so, that, that low? Yeah, wow. uh, you get a decent older one for 35. I don't know, I probably wouldn't get one. I'd probably say, oh. A 9-11, probably a 9-11, a Ferrari 355 would be sweet. I've never been drawn by the Ferraris. What then? Never been drawn by the Ferraris. No! Yeah. Oh, I'm a Ferrari boy, I am. Over, oh I don't know, McLaren, I like McLarens. McLaren probably a bit. More reliable, I think. I've got a good friend who works for McLaren. Ah, okay. And, um, yeah, pretty amazing car. Yeah. I want a Caterham 7, I think, at some point. For a weekend car. Yeah, proper, proper track focused. Caterham super light. In terms of the two bucket method, when the car's ceramic coat, do you think? Obviously, it's always recommend you, but um, is it a must? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The only time when you're just like, fucking, there's no point doing a two bucket method is when the car's just that bad. Yeah. You may as well just cut to the chase, get it washed. I um, I was had for that. Uh, a Volkswagen Passat of all cars, a Volkswagen Passat. Training day, everyone was like, you haven't done, no one's done the two bucket method. It's really? like, well, you don't realise how shit that car is. <laughs> so there's no point. I think I, I didn't even think I dipped mine in the rinse bucket. Is it bleeding much for that? Um, there is certain areas. Um, the cars have an impact in its life, and if you're, you're safe when we machine polish, but essentially it's like, um, like a ripple effect. Um, and um, it always bleeds in that area. Oh. But um, are they actual vents, are they? Uh, yeah, they're actual vents. Where do they come through? Uh, they go into the into the lining where there's a duct. Oh, and the duct feeds okay. into the brakes. Oh, right. uh, but apart from that area, it really needs bleeding. I just need a little bit more iron out if you've got it. So just the wheels. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, wheels. The wheel gel on this. May as well do that when we take them off. We'll okay. get them another clean with detail of the iron. 
polish it and get those black things off. Because um, obviously we want to ceramic coat the inside of the back as well. Yeah. It should be quite clean inside there. Yeah, you've got your. I need to get a new wash mitt. Yeah, I'll use my wash mitt too. How come you use um, this rather than a oh. um, like a Karcher or? Um, or, yeah, you know. a Kranzel, Kranzel K7, good for mobile work as well because they're lightweight, you can yeah. drag them in and out of the van. Better than Karcher's, better than Nilfisk. Kranzel's Premier League of jet washers, basically. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine it's powerful. Yeah. What's your wax of choice? What's your favourite wax? Um, there's two. So, Porta Finesse Essence. Really, I really do like that, and um, I managed to pick up a, a cheap uh, pot of HD wax. Oh, that was my first ever wax, and it's um, eighteen or nineteen. It, it's uh, it's awesome, genuinely awesome. But um, oh no, actually, I've used um, Swiss Wax Onyx as well. Oh, okay. Um, and that was very, very good. Yeah. But, yeah, well, I'm just going to rinse this off and then uh, we're going to need to. <laughs> no, no, definitely wait until after the rest. Yeah. We should be having some fun with that one today as well. There's a Focus RS Mark II up for sale. Mm. 54 grand. It's running, it's, it's a Full on track build, track weapon. Um, it, does, it barely looks like a Mark II Focus and all sorts done. Fully full cage, stripped buckets, everything. Mm. Running 800 horsepower, mental, isn't it? Through the front wheels. Right. That would, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, the torque's going to just be mental. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want 800 horsepower in a front wheel drive car. No. The amount of money he must have spent, you just you buy a GTR, mm. surely. He's probably spent about the best part of a hundred grand. It's such a, um, I don't know, it's nice to mark by father to know what bits of people are on. Yeah, but and it's, it's unique as well. Would you rather have an 800 horsepower focus on it so you, can, you just won't be able to get the full potential out of, or would you rather have a GTR? Exactly. Yeah. I'd rather have a GTR. I'm quite sensible about that. Really. <laughs> this one was a bit more of a state. Yeah, I can imagine. Than the other. Bit of grime as well. I don't know if you want to um, chuck us a detail brush so I can just get in them bits there. Yeah, sure. Uh, where? Uh, detail brush. Oh, in that bucket. It's there, I think. Okay. Is there? There's, um... Oh, no. It's the one... Oh, I think it's up there on the left or up there on the right. I've got a, um... A bucket of brushes. A red Swiss wax one would do. This box one. These ones? Yeah. Now this is detailing. <laughs> oh, so it's uh, basic detailing. Corrected. It's um, bloody good. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think I think it's, it's worthy of you to come and have a look. Oh, I can't buy it. <laughs> no, I'm just. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'll, I'll show you later. Yeah, I'm sure I will see. Oh, you want to uh, electric pop it? 
But I tell you what, he does have. He has a cru he has cruise control. Ah, fair play. Cruise control. I wish I had cruise control. And um, not many cars do. No, no one did. Loads is my bike, unfortunately. You might be. I'm going to cut in the edges now. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm getting pretty tired. Yeah. I'm going to get this bumper done. What did I say? I'm singing, slash, whistling, no, pulling, dum dumming. You need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get the cutting done today. Yeah. Bro, I've got a feeling that probably won't. Yeah. Well, um, well, I mean, the first, we'll get the first attempt done, and then we'll have a, we'll evaluate the whole, yeah, yeah. the entire car. It's exciting. Let's just keep thinking that it's exciting. <sighs> Try doing it as a, well, the thing is when, uh, Yeah, I probably have got all of the cotton tongue by myself already. <laughs> really? <laughs> probably, yeah. First day decontamination. I mean, that would have included clay bar, say like four hours to decon this, four hours. I'd have probably done four, five, six, maybe three, three hours of cutting. And then I'd have come in second day, done a complete day of cutting. Yeah, I'd have had it finished by now. Cutting stage anyway. How come? What's delayed it? Ah, oh, we've been doing bits of wet sanding. Bits of wet sanding. And also I'm learning as well. Yeah, shut in, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, a car this up, like the last one, the last couple that I've done, it was, it was the first two days, cutting done by the end of the first two days finishing done by the end of the third day and then ceramic coat and then wheels off fifth days so you're saying i'm a hindrance um i don't know on my own i just get stuck in usually get stuck in nail through it yeah you'd have thought with two it would be yeah i don't think we've got we're going to get it done any quicker mm. although yeah ceramic coat we will because I'll probably, me and Mark, we'll take it in turns, but I'll put the layer down. Yeah. You not put it off, then I'll put it down on the next one. You buff it off. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Even that. <sighs> God, nice. The logistics of it is different with two people. Yes. Yeah. Slightly different logistics. <sighs> Maybe tomorrow we'll just get more focus. Yeah. Yeah. Because I won't need to um, learn any of the machine function. No, the finishing is, um, yeah, refining is easier, definitely. Definitely easier. More enjoyable as well. I hope so. Cutting is hard work, refining is uh, backing off. But backing off a bit with refining. Yeah. Ah, oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Not making much of a difference to the roof. There's some some score marks in it. Maybe just the trees. Well, I literally went over one particular set of lines that I saw. I just kept the machine on it for. 10 seconds and it's like, yep, this hasn't moved in the slightest. Wow. So I don't think there's much point in me doing the other side. I, I can tell the difference, but. Yeah, yeah, when we looked before, uh, the side that you had done, the side that you hadn't done. No, but I can tell the difference from the side that you've done just. Uh, it looks shiny, doesn't it? So somewhere, I don't know, somewhere around here. Or, yeah, somewhere on here. No, some lines. Kept the machine on it, just wig on it on the spot. And nothing happened. 
Um, I, I just hope that once we've done the refinement and the ceramic coating, it's just going to get it out of the eye. It's going to hopefully it'll open it. It'll, it'll fill that crevice in. Yeah. Do you think? Um, well, it's going to naturally make the whole thing shinier. So shinier, glossier. If the sun hits it, then it's probably going to bounce back at you so much that you're just going to go, whoa, and that's shiny, you don't even notice it. But there's not much else you can really do. I think as a wrap though, 180 quid, I think it's not too bad. Okay. It's a fucking shame. Those squeegee blades scratch it to hell. Mm. Imagine the whole car. Well, what do young guys use? Do they use some fancy squeegee? The wall, the dial there. The Range Rover I worked on. Not in the best condition. No. I had um, all the sunlight and I've ever had is all been scratched because of the squeegees. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think compared to what it was, and I can tell a difference from your pass from here to here. Right. If you come over here, you can see. So, because obviously I'm causing a bit more of a slower rate because I'm having to train me as well. Yeah. yeah. Just thinking tomorrow is, is it even worth me being here? Shall I leave you to just focus on it or? Uh, definitely simply speed. We're going to need two hands. I think if we, we just need to knuckle down. Um, knuckle down, utilise both machines. It's yeah, it's been a bit of a shock to my system as well because obviously training days I train. Mm. My normal days it's just it's me flat out. Because um, this has been a mixture of both, hasn't it? Yeah, obviously I've got my I've got a set way that I do the car, which is usually big machine do as much as I can, and then I know where to go with the smaller machine. Mm. With this, it's been, I mean, smaller machine at the front, I ended up going around the bonnet, around the things, around the side bits, and then getting the bigger machine. Was that because of the car or because of the way we work? No. Um, no, it's just because it's two of us. Some of the bits that I've been doing, I'd normally do with the bigger machine, so I'd be saving time. Right. Uh, I need you here tomorrow. I'm worried it won't, it won't get finished. Um, no. That's fine by me. I just, um, I just don't want to get in the way. If that makes sense. No, no, you're not getting in the way. No, it's, it's just been different. It's just been different. Can you see the difference between the two? The only um, bits you can really look at are that, that length and that length. I can't really see over there because the light hits there and here and there. I've got no light over at your bit.
ten past. Hey, how are you? Good day. Okay. So, how are you? Yeah, good talk. It's clean it up. Yeah, man. Swallow it and swallow the wheel. Um, Dan, two of us. Have you only got one? Or have you got one after borrow for that? Uh, go on, you can borrow it. Or buy it, yeah, whatever. How many you buy it? I can lend it, yeah. Yeah, if it's. Uh, I'll tell you to do my work with them now. Just all I've got is like head brushes and that one. on. It's kind of the mark, oh yeah. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too soft either. And you reckon 101 will be right on leather? 101, do you reckon like 5 to 1 or 10 to 1? 10 to 1. Yeah, it's 10 to 1. You're going to do it sweet. Just um, when you're doing the leather, don't let it drip down. Yeah. Don't let it drip down the leather, it will kind of stain. So what you really want, what I do first, is get a detailed brush, yeah. brush it over the area, then go at it with that one, okay. and that's going to properly deep clean it. Um, do you want a detailed brush as well? You've got one with you, see, but as a use. Well, that's a new one, so that's good. Twelve pounds for it. Oh, yeah. Let's wash my hands before I use it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, there we are. I'll, I'll put these inside because it will end up like us. Yeah. Do you want some gloves? Do they take gloves? No, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put these on the side. I'm not doing it until after. No, no, no. Here, put them back on. Oh, the wheels on now. Oh, come on, look. It's getting there, Joe. Quite. It's been a while since I've had it. Yeah, we'll talk again. I've got a missed call from the estate agent. Final off me about tomorrow. I bet because of the, yeah, the shutdown. Yeah, half five. What do you reckon? Accepted or not accepted? It's been up for 12 months. Yeah, August. Yeah, about around 12 months. So the mics uh, be like, fuck it. Or they'll just catch off a year and add two grand. Yeah. Well, she said to me, she said that there's a baseline, they want 56. And I was like, Jesus, 56 is way too much. It is not worth that. So what is the, have you worked out the percentage of how much you've, you've offered them as a discount? Um, well, for 40%, because it's shared ownership, rent to buy, 40% of ownership is what you're buying. Um, I went in and I says, absolute max would be 50k. To go to the chase, I said, I don't think it's worth any more than 125, 120, 125, absolute max. So are you thinking, would you offer 40s or, I was like, max 50k, not any more. Yeah. So she's like, okay, well, it's been on the market for a year, so we did originally want 56 grand baseline for it. The thing is, it's in their best interest as an estate agent because they get the commission after it, so. Yeah, yeah. It was reduced, it was reduced pretty recently. Not recently, it was reduced in like January. Fingers crossed, so I can get my dog. <laughs> you can't get your dog at the place right now? No, that no, wouldn't let me. No, I need a garden. I need a garden. To go for its poos in. So what do you plan to do job-wise? You said the other day that you don't want to do detailing full-time. <laughs> no, so I think to keep it fresh for me because I, I still look at it as a hobby rather than a profession. Right. But I, I do enjoy it. It's, it's my favourite pastime and it helps with income. Right, um, okay. So what I was hoping for was to um, either develop a small customer base, which is what I've got, um, and continue with that, or to partner up with someone and um, so I spent my weekends there. Uh, okay. Would you ever want to do it full time? Um, I think if I if I have the right uh, lock up, then yeah. Like for example, this is yeah, amazing. 
Yeah. I definitely would. Because it's got everything you'd want in them. Mm, needs a bit to be imagination. Toilet, kitchenette. Yeah, it needs a toilet. Space for two cars. Yeah. Ideally, what it needs is that next unit knocking through. Yeah, yeah. Opening up as one, it would be 900 square foot. Yeah, definitely. It needs a toilet. It needs it needs a little bit more homely. I yeah, think. definitely. Yeah. Um, this is what I can afford two years ago. Oh, this is me after every single day of detail and <laughs> lying on the floor. And pretty much every fucking detail. If it's been a hard day. Do you want to um, take a photo of me on my phone? Yeah, and this can be today's upload. Quite an easy car to um, strike a coat. The residue seems to be coming off nice and easy. Yeah. I've got a couple of them to take by surprise how easy they are. Some seems to take a lot longer than others. Hello, JJ. Details. Uh, what's what type of detail are we talking? Long well down the short one. <laughs> okay, what's what vehicle is it? A Mini Cooper. Um, right, so. I'm pretty much booked up to October. Um, I don't think I haven't got space for um, a full on detail. I know I've got the update in there, but I don't have the space for a lengthy detail until the until start of October. Um, yes, yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, mate. Alright, cheers, mate. Bye -bye. This video probably won't go out till October. <laughs> hey. okay. Have you got a spare air freshener? Oh, they are £4.75. £4.75 for an air for two. Two pounds. Jesus. What's half for seventy-five? <laughs> What's half for seventy-five? Thirty-five. Thirty-seven point five. Thirty-seven point five. Hey, you can have one for free. We're <laughs> <laughs> in um, that box there. That box there. Uh, the one? cardboard one. This one. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah, don't blame you. I'm not polish up tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, also can ask triple. Yeah. Not its stomach coating, really. Mm. Well, it looks like it's done, I think. I might just get it painted. A little nicker blue. Um, Why not just wrap it? I bet you ain't wrap it. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet you ain't gonna keep it for a long while. Don't be silly about wrapping it. Why? Because wrap's just like shit. You can have it pink, you can have it camouflage pink, how about that? Nah, I'd get it properly done. Yeah. Wrapping is just for girls. Yeah, but is it worth getting it sprayed? Well, it's wrap five, six rounds. I can get it sprayed for about a gram. If that's so many quid. Oh, okay. Get it, let's do it. You need to go the same quality as you know, make a blue. That gets nice. What type of blue is that? That, yes, sort of blue. Oh, okay. That's all I want to be able. see what I'm here. This looks like. No more problems when it's completely finished. Until then, I'll be stressed. Want to start wiping this off? Yeah. Well, fair. So we're getting it done in double time to be fair. So. Three layers left. What? Two and a bit layers left. Maybe we'll finish the first one. Mm. Right. Just for your fresh memory. No worries. I'll uh, fix you tomorrow. Soon. Uh, yeah, probably, I don't know, maybe. I'll oh, see you around here. Yeah, man. Yeah. See you around here. If I was trunks then, you'd have known about it. <laughs> <laughs> Read down your ear hole. Fuck <laughs> that. You do that to your 
runway. You won't be within touching distance of your enemy to be fair. So how many YouTube videos have you started in so far? Just showing your Friday. Just showing your Friday? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some collabs in the future. Nothing astronomical, but the start, people that I enjoy watching myself, so much more videos. Always do the grotty areas last. Oh, head rush. Have you ever had a head rush before and then held your breath so that you pass out? No. No. So if you get, say if you're doing that, like how I was, I was always down there. Yeah. I think the blood rushes to your head and you get up and then it comes back down and you go almost like you're going to faint. Yeah. And if you hold your breath at that point, you'll, um, you'll pass out. I did, it, I did it once when I was a kid and I went and it went black and I practically passed out. I didn't fall over, I managed to stabilise myself on something. Wow. I've never done it since. I, I can see why. Yeah, I've done some weird things. <laughs> How many views do you reckon this video is going to get? It's um, it's called salary, isn't it? It's going to either be a hit or a really good hit. Average age people that watch my stuff, they'll they will like this type of car, and it's obtainable as well. So that could potentially generate a bit of interest. The fact that it's an obtainable car, it's an RS. So try and put that involved in the uh, description. Probably be in the title. If it gets to 100k, it will do well if it gets to 100k. It's one of those you never really know. JP. It's funny when I get people calling JP. Ah, JP. Mohammed from Manchester. He's funny. He came visit me at the unit for a bit of a training training hour, business consultation. And he just turned up and ah Mr. JB, you celebrity, how much you want the time? I was like, hey up. <laughs> hey up. <laughs> We're all right, So this is going down the drag strip. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. See what she runs. I mean, it's going to be hopefully the greenest star, one of the greenest star. Just <laughs> Yeah, fucking too right. As long as you give it a maintenance wash before you go. Oh gosh, yeah, it's, it's another week. USD, been to two Christmas Street cars. Matt. <laughs> yes. I can't believe how just thin and pointless it is. I know. Has it always been like that? Yeah. yeah. Has it? Oh, shocking. It's um, auto finesse it going down in the world. Making Max like that. 